everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we are going to do a tiny, um, kind of tiny, grocery haul. A little bit of it's for Thanksgiving, a little bit of it is for my cooking club coming up, whatever. We're doing a Friendsgiving. And then we are going to get into to some baking for a bake sale that I have coming up um, on Monday. So we're doing a fundraiser bake sale supporting Ellie's Place. I don't know if anyone's heard of that or not. Um, they help grieving children that have lost loved ones in their lives. And all free to the children, um, you know, and they just, they help them process through it. It's a wonderful organization. So we support them a lot where I work. Um, and so we're doing a bake sale. So I thought I'd bring you along with me to do the, the things I'm gonna bake. My plan is, my plan is to do uh, two like eight by eight apple cakes. Um, it's like an apple coffee cake type thing. It's amazing, amazing. Um, then peanut butter cookies. Um, what's the third thing I was gonna do? I don't know, something else. Do I remember? Oh, I might make pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Maybe a loaf or two of that. Also, so, and then I gotta package them up and get them all ready and cute looking and stuff. So anyway, I thought I'd bring you along. I do have a little snafu of my day, which is not a snafu because you gotta give yourself grace. Overbooked myself. <laughs> and um, my friend is coming over. We're gonna go to an art fair in a couple hours, so I wanna get what I can get done now. And then I'll get back, maybe do something else or kind of get ready. My husband and I are going to go. It's still my birthday month, people. And I fully use the whole month. So we are going to go about an hour and 15 minutes away for dinner because I got a free dinner um, that I get every every year for my birthday. And so I want to utilize that. And we like the place. So we want to go there. And it's a beautiful day outside. So we want to go on a little road trip while it's still daylight out. So when I get back... If need be, I can maybe do, I might do the cookies then, the peanut butter cookies, because they're so easy. And I should be back probably around 8. Um, so I'll still have enough ammunition in my system to do those. So anyway, I just want to give you that little synopsis. Hey, um, also, by the way, hit subscribe. Hit that little bell. Give it a thumbs up. And then you'll be notified anytime I do any other baking, cooking, preserving, uh cat videos. Oh, and by the way, I do want to let you know, um, on Thanksgiving, I will be releasing a video of Biscuit's story. If you don't know who Biscuit's is, he's a rescue cat that we kind of adopted, just took him in. He's part of the Conley household now, um, that we took in from our campground. Uh, he started visiting us at the campground. I'll tell you more on the story later if you haven't really followed along. But we do have our bingo cat here, so also that we've had for 10 years, so Zipper. And you've probably seen him in videos plenty of times. So, it's been fun. <laughs> it's been fun. But anyway, I will give you this whole little story. I thought it'd be a great day to show the video. I've been compiling little bits and pieces of his little story together. And because we're thankful for him, we'll release it on Thanksgiving. What a perfect time, right? So anyway... Not babbling. I know I babble a lot. Let's get to the grocery haul from Kroger. Then I'm going to start baking something. I don't know. I got limited time. Yeah, yeah zippers right here. So I got like a couple hours. So let me see what I can get done in a couple hours. Because I may want to take a nap before we go to dinner. So <laughs> I always had to work in my naps. I'm a napper. So anyway, it's like a 10 15 minute nap. But I got to get. I gotta get my nap in or I get a little crabby. All right, let's do this. Cheers. Okay, so it's just a small grocery haul, but um, I needed garbage bags and normally I get them on Amazon and I went down to my stash and I was out, I was so upset. So I had to get just a 20 bag box and then I will get the rest on Amazon and they're way cheaper on Amazon. Um, two of the sugar-free chocolate puddings because they will go for a pie for Thanksgiving. I got some roasted garlic triscuits. My husband loves those, so I'm going to put some cheese with them. We'll snack on those on Thanksgiving Day before um, dinner and use them for something like that or in his lunch also. 
I got a six pack of the water. I got some water downstairs, but I thought I'm just gonna, I have to, <sighs> I know a bigger case with a little bit more money would be better choice, but um, we're having a smaller group this year for Thanksgiving. So I thought I just need a few and money is tight. So I am just, I just did that because it was like the cheapest little six pack I could get. Um, a little bit more milk because I need that for part of the pudding pies and stuff that we do. This for my husband, the Diet Mountain Dew. Uh, three Coke Zeros for me. Um, our low carb bread that we love. The eggs. Got an 18 pack because I'll be using those for Thanksgiving and all kinds of stuff and for baking. Um, I did not want this Italian style cheese blend, but I guess it'll work. I'm doing. Brussels sprouts for our cooking club for our Friendsgiving and it was supposed to be uh, the Gruyere cheese. I don't know. I guess we'll make it work. Sharp cheddar cheese. Salami. Um, so I got these because I thought it'd be nice to do a little appetizer where it's the salami. You put cream cheese and pepperoncini peppers in them and roll them up and roll it up like a sub so you spread them all out and have them overlap and then you roll them up and slice them and then you put toothpicks in them and you got a little hors d'oeuvre so I thought that'd be really good and easy um cream cheese which I have some in the fridge but I feel like I never want to be out of cream cheese sour cream cheeses <laughs> you know what I mean the same the things I use like every day uh, I did get some celery because I haven't had any while and um I do use it in my green bean casserole Got some greener bananas. I have a few yellow right now, so that's good. I will need a couple of these for a banana cream pie for my husband for Thanksgiving, as you hear me say, for my husband. <laughs> because I make the pie for him. Others do eat it, and it is so good. But if I don't make it, it it'd be ugly at Thanksgiving. Uh, Brussels sprouts, that is for my cooking divas for our Friendsgiving. And then just a bag of the classic chips. I was just going to get like the little bag because I only need a little bit and I don't want the temptation in the house. But for God's sakes, for like 50 cents more, you might as well get the whole big bag, right? So anyway, but I use them on um, the cheesy potatoes or we call them Betty Ann potatoes. You guys call them cheesy or party or funeral potatoes, those ones. So that's what I put on top. So I think that's about it for the grocery haul. I thought I'd bring you over and... I got Amazon stuff delivered too, so I'm trying to do this one-handed right now. Um, I got a new strainer for my sink because the old one, what happened to it? I think it separated or something on me, so anyway, I had to get rid of that. So now I need another one. What is this? Oh, look at this. Hold on. It's a cute little ornament that I got for, are you serious right now? Do I have to touch that up? Unreal. Um... Anyway, for a friend of ours that just bought his first home. So I thought it'd be exciting for his Christmas tree when he puts it up. And I want it to be manly and not like girly or because he's not a couple yet. <laughs> you know, so anyway, so that's for him as a little surprise. And, oh yeah, let me open this one. I'll get grumpy over here. I think he's tired. He had turkey. We had turkey this morning and um, we had leftover turkey from, we did a Thanksgiving at work. And so they gave you turkey to take home that was already cooked. So we've been eating that for the last couple of days. And so the boys love it. And so he's excited. And this is the other thing. I needed a new mat for our bathroom or for the bathtub that's in our spare bathroom that we do use once in a while. But this one's kind of cool because it's got holes in it. So things drain through it. Where the other one is like where it's got the bumps, you know, so like hair and stuff collect on it. And this way, this is nice, so things can go through the mat. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. We'll see. Let's see how it goes down the bathtub. And it's blue. Um, the other one is white, so this will be a little less, you know, when your hard water or something gets to it. Um, but also, I have a, a theme in that bathroom, which is like um, the beach theme so when we went to Myrtle Beach different things like that I've taken pictures when we went to St. Thomas I took pictures hung them up in there and stuff like that so it's a like a serenity type bathroom so this will go well with it oh look we got them both up here see you guys wonder how they're doing here we go they're happy well kind of this mom is happy but anyway all right 
Okay, so we're gonna do the apple cake first. Um, you can do it in a nine by 13 if you want a big normal pan of it, but I'm gonna do it in two of the eight by eights so that way we can um, sell two of them and you know, not everyone needs a full one type thing. So I do know I've made it for here. Well, I made it for Chris and I one night after um, I saw lots of apples from when we apple picked. I didn't tape it and he said, this is so good, I can't believe you didn't tape it. So. I said, I'll be making it again. So then I made it one more time. Well, I took that to work. They all loved it. I made it one more time for our wine weekend with the girls. I didn't video that either. And so now I thought, you know what? I better share it with you because it's amazing. It's so good. You can use kind of any kind of apples. I mean, I use whatever, and I didn't even know which ones I had when we had smaller ones about like this size. And so I cut up a few of those. Um, these I just got from the store. But, you know, Granny Smith, Honey Crisp. Gala, any of those, whatever, whatever you like. You don't have to peel them. You're just going to chop them up, um, dice them in little squares. And so um, it, it's pretty easy. You're going to use a yellow cake mix. We're just going to add some stuff to it. I've just got my cake mix here. And I think the hardest part, which is not even hard at all, is getting the sticker off. But um, no, anyway, <laughs> uh, the hardest part is... Um, making the, and you know it's not even hard to make the little glaze that goes on top, but anyway, which is just going to be powdered sugar, milk, and you know, vanilla extract. So, anyway, I'm going to start dicing these up. Um, I've seen people dice apples before, so I will not bore you with this. And I'm going to nibble on this. <laughs> as possible. I do have one more, but they're so huge that I don't need three big ones. So anyway, this is so good. I highly recommend it. Like, highly recommend it. It's nothing healthy about it. Doesn't matter. The apples are probably the healthiest part of this whole thing. But isn't that what the holidays are about? We're not going to judge. Right? Not judging. We're not judging. No judging. All right. Let me get these diced up. Okay, as I eat the apples, I'm sorry. So the apples are diced. Oh, there they are. We're gonna get, it's getting a little hard, I should make it. Um, a half a cup of brown sugar. This is a quarter cup. You don't have to be perfect on this, it's okay. And then probably about one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. This, I will tell you, is almost got the texture of like a pineapple upside down cake. It's so good. Have I told you that already? All right. Okay, I'm just gonna combine this. Apparently, all my spoons are in the dishwasher. So, let's see how this goes. You're gonna keep about three tablespoons of this aside or, well, we're going to take three tablespoons and sprinkle it over um, the apples. Good Lord. I guess I could just microwave it a little bit, right? But Nope, this is way more fun. It's like a game. I haven't swept yet today because there's brown sugar going everywhere. Okay, so about three tablespoons we're going to sprinkle over top of the apples. Normally I would do this in another bowl, but whatever. It's fine. It's all going to go in the pan here shortly. Start it to get it to gooey up. All right. Okay, in my mixer bowl, you can do this by hand too. Don't get me wrong. I think the first time I did it, I did it by hand. So it's no big deal. But you're gonna want four eggs. Oh shit, I got a shell. Got it. Little hack there, if you didn't know. 
use the shell to collect the shell if you drop them in there. Because I don't take the time to use another bowl. Obviously, you can see. Um, all right, the four eggs, you gotta do three quarters cup of vegetable oil. Let me get that measured out. First I had to get out my old measuring cup and now I don't know if I can read it. Okay, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna do one cup sour cream. goodness off there. Okay, teaspoon of vanilla, which I always use just the cap, and let it run it over a little bit. Okay, all right, we're going to run it in the mixer real quick, and then we're going to add in just about a minute to get it combined. And then we're going to add in um, the yellow cake mix. You can use store-bought, you can use Pillsbury, use whatever you want. If you have to use a white, use a white. You're okay with that. combined. Okay, now very carefully put in your apples. Now, um, if you use the mixer to do this part, but very gently, but, oh damn, I told you, very gently put these in. <laughs> Some warmer down. Oops, there we go. That's good. All right. All right. So I greased up my two pans here. We're just going to equally put it in both of the pans. This is so good. Personally, I think I like um, cake better, better than cake. <laughs> Does that make sense? Even. This one's got a little more batter. Let's see if I can scrape. Okay. Now we're gonna just sprinkle the remaining of this brown sugar mixture that we made up in the very beginning over top. Getting all the crevices. It's okay if your brown sugar is a little crunchy, it's fine. The moisture from the apples will be amazing. Yeah, the girls on Wine Weekend, oh my gosh, we ate this for breakfast, so I made this for breakfast. It can be a dessert, it can be for breakfast, great for brunch, right? And, oh, they loved it. Some took some home. I had a little bit left for uh, Chris and I to devour. It's certainly, like I said, it's not low carb, it's not healthy, but this is for a bake sale and it's the holidays, so not really worried about it. 
All right. So for right now, these are going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Just um, do your toothpick test to see if they're clean, it comes out clean or whatever. And then after that, we'll make the glaze to go over them, which, you know, like I said, it's confection sugar, powdered sugar, whatever you want to call it, vanilla and um, milk or heavy cream, whatever you have, just to thin it out and then we'll glaze it. Now you can wait till they fully cool to do that or you can wait till they're slightly warm still. I will probably wait till they're slightly warm, like cool down a little bit, but not all the way cool and drizzle it on them, make it all party. Okay, let's get them in the oven. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a pumpkin chocolate chip uh, bread. So we're going to use the, the spice cake mixes. So I'm going to do two of them. And then two cans of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie. And what was the other thing? Oh, and um, semi-sweet chocolate chips or I have milk chocolate. I'm going to use what I have. I'm not going to make a special trip anywhere. About one to two cups of these in each one. So this should be fine for both breads. So, and really easy peasy. We're just going to mix it together and bake them. So I'm going to put them both in one mixer bowl and then spread it evenly in the cake pans and we should be okay. Okay, so I'm going to put in, I might, you know, so the bread pans I'm using are not your normal bread pans. They're the tinfoil ones. I don't know. I might get three out of here. I have no idea. I don't want it to be overflowing in the oven, you know. But we'll see. I do have three pans, so. One can. Two cans. Now, I will say it's up to you if you want to use. I've never used anything um, but... Libby for this type of thing when it comes to baking um, even for my soups when I do a pumpkin soup just because I feel like other ones have more water in them and so it tends to be I don't know it's more watery right so um, I have tried some name or like Aldi brand ones and stuff like that before in the past um, and it, I just wasn't happy with them when I would use them for different recipes for baking um, or even, like I said, my soup, because it's just, there's more water in it than I normally am used to. So keep that in mind. It's up to you. You do what you want. That's my preference. Uh, there's something different about it. As long as like, I don't know. I am all about easy baking when it comes to, um, like I'm doing it for, an event or party or for people giveaways to put that you know it's still the thought that counts but I want it to be easy um, because I like I don't know, you know it takes a lot sometimes and sometimes the easiest recipes are the best recipes I will say all right we're gonna get this out of here and get it in the mixer and I'm gonna incorporate it just a little bit so it doesn't blow all over me because you know it will happen you could do this by hand also I'm not going to all right okay I'm gonna try and slowly incorporate it there we go I don't even know where my little guard is for this I don't know I've never used it, and I probably should have it <laughs> where I need it, but I don't. All right, let's get the chocolate chips. All right, so it's one to two cups per loaf. So I'm going to start with one. So that would be, oh man, you know what, I'm just going to do this bag. I'm not going to open another bag. Oh. One to two cups, right? So I'll have a little over two cups. It'll be a cup per loaf. So I'm good with that. Oops. I'm a messy baker today. My God. I'm trying to hurry and get things done. 
sure they're all in there good. Okay, I did find this little portion of white chocolate chips. Oh my God, you guys, I keep dropping these all over. I'm gonna throw that in there to use it up. And white chocolate chips will go really well with pumpkin and spice, trust me. I've used them before with them. So we'll mix it in there. So we got white chocolate and regular chocolate in there. Get them all down in there. Okay. Okay, so I did end up putting them in three pans because, you know, it's those little tin loaf pans. So 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes, which is going to be perfect timing because I can pull them out of the oven right when my friend's come in to pick me up so we can go to the art fair, come back, and then I can do peanut butter cookies and the glaze on, I might do the glaze before we leave, um, on the apple bread, apple cake, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So there's the apple cakes. I pulled them out. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. And then I probably will do the glaze real quick here in about 30 minutes. Put it on them so they're done. And then, um, yeah. So let me get the other, the pumpkin breads in the oven. Okay, so those three are out. I was going to make the glaze, but I'm going to wait till these cool now. When we get back from the art fair, then I will make the glaze. And I'm going to put glaze on these also. So I'll drizzle this with the glaze those with the glaze and then i'll make the peanut butter cookies so yay doing good okay so for my peanut butter cookie recipe hold on i know you're not anyway so we just got back from going to dinner over an hour and a half away and um the art fair or stuff like that so anyway so now i'm back to doing the cookies and I said to my husband it's late it's like 9 30 and uh, a lot later than I thought it was gonna be and I said I know you're gonna be awake for these right for your cookies when I get done with them it's like I'm not asleep so anyway so a normal recipe is the easiest recipe I found this in a book that a friend gave to me years ago it's one cup peanut butter one egg one cup sugar the best peanut butter cookies you'll ever have and so I'm gonna double it <clears throat> so that's two eggs I'm telling you it is the easiest you don't need flour you don't need any of that stuff it is amazing so it, oh man again it's all over my floor okay these are what is this half cup so I need four of those and then sprinkle some on top when you're done. A little extra. Why not? Okay. So this peanut butter jar, are you smooth? Creamy peanut butter, let me see, 16 ounces. So 16 ounces is two cups exactly, which is what we want. Now you do have to watch. Um, some peanut butters are not 16 ounces. They're, sometimes they're a little over and you don't want that. You don't want to clear out the whole jar because it'll make them too dry. Um, I know there's some that are like 16.5 or 17 or something like that. So just keep that in mind. This is Kroger brand. It's fine. It'll work. Okay, get this in here and get it under the mixer. Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm gonna mix them up. Okay, we're just gonna scoop them out like you normally would for a cookie. We'll flatten them down here in a minute. Four across. Oh, too big. Okay. 
Okay, so they're all, oops. Anyway, traditional croissant. If you hear anyone in the background, it's my hubby with the kids. Biscuits, maybe in the background. He likes to talk now. He never used to talk when he was at the camper, but now all of a sudden he talks. Really? Do you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. No, I know. It's something you want, right? Nothing you want at all. I'm going to put a little sugar on top, and these need to go in. 350 for like nine minutes people not much more than that sometimes you have to do 10 don't do much more than that because you don't want to burnt um and you pull them out and oh good lord now, well there goes a pen there goes a pen biscuits likes to knock everything off the counter he's one of those cats okay so this is gonna go in the oven i got this one i got a sugar up I'll put that in the oven and look at these go. Okay, so now we're going to do two cups powdered sugar, about three tablespoons of, get, would you get out of the way? <laughs> three tablespoons of milk and eh, about a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm just going to put this on here because I'm going to mix it all in the uh, measuring cup. And this will be our drizzle for the cake. I'm going to spread it out and even use it on the other one. So I'm not going to make like a double batch or anything like that. It'll be fine. You don't have to be perfect on these. It's to your consistency. in there. Three tablespoons. One, two, three. Now, if you need it drier, you add more powdered sugar. If you need it wetter, you add more milk. Just going to mix it up. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I made this, and I'm just going to drizzle it all over this, but I'm going to do it between all of these. So I'll do a little bit on this one, a little bit on this one, and then I'll go to the breads, and then if I have leftover, I'll come back. Because, you know, you want it on all of it. Okay, so those are all finished. These are cooling, and then I'll put them in bags. And there's my little helper that's hanging out. No matter what, he is still my little shadow. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put four in a bag. We'll see. I might do, end up doing five. Don't mind zipper. Brother was chasing him. Where's your brother, Zipper? Oh my god. <laughs> I swear to god, you can't hear these cats at all. Well, this gets it. No, uh, uh, uh. Now I gotta wash my hands. Did you enjoy them? Yeah, they were good. <laughs> 
reduced like eight of them down to nothing. And yeah, so that's what we got. Had to get a milk so I could drink some milk with it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What did you grab? Did you grab another one? So number nine. You want one? Mm, if you don't want one, but Dad wants one. Jeez Louise. We love our peanut butter cookies around here. Yeah. Do you want some milk? You ain't getting my milk. I don't know if Zippy ever had milk. We don't need to start now. You got that one down there. Hey, look. <laughs> it does. It's your color. Aww. You're so cute. You look like you're in your PJs. Get a little jammies on. No, oh, it's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Okay, so we're gonna keep these for my husband for tomorrow's lunch. Because he loves his peanut butter cookies. He, he, oh, what's going on over there? Oh, he took, he took biscuits with him to the couch, but he didn't want to hang out. All right, so we're gonna tie these up. Aren't these the cutest bags? I had them for, I don't even know. It wasn't very much on Amazon. 200 of them. I got another chunk of them over there. But I love polka dots. Love polka dots. So I'm so excited. And then I'm going to take some to work tomorrow. So um, the other girls, if they need them for their cookies, they can use them. So, so we got the little strippy things. We're going to tie them up real quick. And saran wrap up those beauties over there. And then I think I have some, I know I have some little sticky foamy things, like whatever holiday things that I can stick on them. And that way it kind of gives them a little, zhush, little festiveness. So we'll find those and get those done. He's, he's trying to get ready to go downstairs, I think. But he was in the cupboard meowing or doing his little, I don't know what the hell he does. Okay. So there's those peanut butter cookies. Let's wrap them all up. Okay, so here's those all packaged up. Here's the total. So we have our peanut butter cookies. We do have a few left over for my husband for his lunch. I have these little foam stickers that I got. They're all different Christmas things. Anyway, so this is a little mitten. So I put apple cake on both of these. And they're wrapped up with that cling wrap. And then these three, I put pumpkin chocolate bread on all three of these with the little booty sticker. And zipper is busy. But yeah, so that's all done. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see more uh, zipper and biscuits. The zipper and biscuits show. Um, anyway, so those are three easy. I know it was a little delayed in between probably, but three easy easy bake sale ideas fall ideas bake ideas for for um for desserts or you know little whatever for your parties for you know the holiday season so if you want to make some apple cake that was quick they all three of them were quick and easy my peanut butter recipe i've been using for years and people love it the apple cake they love uh the chocolate pumpkin bread is kind of a new recipe to me so i'm not for sure how that's going to turn out but it looks really good and i did sneak a little piece of it so it looks pretty good um i think that'll be a winner so all three of these are winners and i think you should make one of them and if you do let me know down below so hopefully you enjoyed this uh video and give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and cheers Happy Thanksgiving.